Pace everywhere you look so far offensively. Here's Pine from the pocket. Protection's good. He's looking down the middle for Mayer. About three feet too high. And you see how frustrated Mayer is walking off the field. Rubs for the other receiver. You want your receivers running in man-to-man. -man. If you walked it out there, you put it right there. They have it. Oladejo right there defensively. We've got to be able to execute the most basic thing in football, the center quarterback exchange. Looked like the ball came up. Sometimes hard to know what goes on in those situations, but it's inexcusable. Biggest thing, if, if I can put it into a phrase or a sentence that I can help any athlete with, whether it be a young athlete or an older athlete, is this. Executing, winning a game, playing your best inside of a moment is not about who you are. It's not about your ability. It's not about your potential, but it's about what you can prove. You have to be able to produce. You have to be able to produce or excrete everything that you are in a moment and the team or the person who can produce everything they are in a moment is a team that will win <laughs>
I knew that he was in trouble because there was a simple throw that was like four or five yards away. There was nobody around him and he short armed it so bad it came off his hand. He couldn't even complete it. It went straight down to the ground. Okay. There was another situation. He said, hut, hut, hut. And the ball, his fingers couldn't grab it. I said, there it is. Quickly, how does mental interference affect my, my muscles? How does it affect my ability to execute certain plays or certain things that I already know how to do? The reason is, is because whenever you think a thought, whenever you have thoughts uh, that are generated within you, the thoughts are not just in your mind, but the thoughts, they are, uh, they go to your body, they go to your cells, and they give your cells a direction. So if I think thoughts of confidence, it liberates me, it causes me to be creative, it causes me to be instinctual. Uh, if I think thoughts of fear or failure, I don't want to fail. This is a big moment. Um, and see, these thoughts are very subconscious, so you may not be aware of what they are, but it's, it shows up in how you feel. But if you think thoughts of fear or failure, then you'll be restricted. You'll be tight. Your muscles will be tense. And now you can't perform what you want to perform. So many people think that the mental side of the game just um, is inside of your mind, but it's actually transferred to your body it's a mind and body connection so there it is so that's the reason why you have to pay attention to your mind and it's a big thing that people aren't doing is because it is actually responsible for uh, how your body flows you feel what i'm saying you can be a safety and you see a running back there and you easily can make the tackle but your body won't even respond the right way You'll either get shook, you'll get ran over, you won't have the same strength that you normally have, you'll have less strength because there's fear there, there's hesitation there, there's doubt. So the mind uh, and the body are connected. So thoughts create is is has a lot to do with how you play, with how you move, with how you flow. Biggest thing, if, if I can put it into a phrase or a sentence that I can help any athlete with, whether it be a young athlete or an older athlete, is this executing winning a game playing your best inside of a moment it's not about who you are it's not about your ability it's not about your potential but it's about what you can prove you have to be able to produce you have to be able to produce or excrete everything that you are in a moment. And the team or the person who can produce everything they are in a moment is a team that will win. I look at teams and I look at people and I say they are producing or they are expressing about 15% of their ability. They are expressing about 12% of their ability. They're expressing about 40% of what they really could do. But if you, you haven't even seen it. No player has even seen it, how much they really can produce. A lot of players have this Clay Thompson on the inside and they never seen it. They have the ability to score 60 points in 11 dribbles. But they never seen it. A lot of people have the ability to, 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 to do the Steph Curry situation, but they've never seen it. So your so and also the role of the mind in the mental training is to be able to produce more of who you are. But basically, what I'm trying to tell you is this: sports, execution, winning the game is about how much of you you can produce. It's not about who you are and what your potential is, but how much of you can you produce okay guys if you want to contact me my information is below my email address my phone number everything so i want you to contact me if you are a sports parent and you understand that your son or daughter has some level of mental interference and you want to want it to be done we promise that you we will be able to get it done in four sessions or less guys as you leave remember you're only one thought away from your next greatest performance